What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and this is the Dravo Caliber RGB Mechanical Keyboard. One of my favorite features of the iPhone 7 is the extremely subtle tactile feedback embedded within iOS. Scrolling through or popping up certain menus makes the phone vibrate ever so lightly in conjunction with the movement of your finger. And I know it's a really minor thing, but there's a huge sense of satisfaction there that I probably would have never noticed until using a phone that didn't have that quietly included feature. Now, mechanical keyboards really exemplify this primal connection between the way a device is designed and how the user responds to it. Typing on one is seriously nostalgic and I swear, it actively makes you want to type more often. Another thing I love about mechanical keyboards is that they represent a class of technology that has made a comeback rather than being something newly popularized. Now the Dravo Caliber keyboard is kind of a hybrid between the classic mechanical keyboard design but with some added features that definitely makes it something of today rather than a true homage to the keyboards of the past. First let's talk physical design. The Dravo has a condensed 71 key layout a leaned out version of a traditional keyboard. You're not going to have a dedicated number pad and you won't even have separation of the number and function keys. Now this to some make the keyboard feel a bit cramped, but all the keys are normal size, including the shift keys, spacebar, and the backspace key, which in terms of overall functionality really doesn't get difficult to get used to. It's actually ideal for my desk size as I don't have a lot of real estate and a full keyboard will likely look out of place. For the price, you're getting some surprisingly good build quality with this keyboard. The base plate is made out of brushed aluminum which was really unexpected at this price point. Even though the finish on the metal oddly makes it look cheaper than it is, it kind of looks like plastic that's been painted silver, but the feel in the hand is really nice. It's sturdy and doesn't feel flimsy or light when placed on a surface and typed on. On the back of the keyboard, there are four rubber feet to keep the keyboard from sliding around the table. A nice touch, the raised feet to lift the keyboard are also covered in rubber, so once put on a surface, this keyboard isn't going anywhere. Also on the back of the keyboard is a very small on-off switch. It's actually quite recessed in there, but it's likely to avoid accidentally turning the keyboard on or off. Now, an on-off switch is needed because this keyboard can function wirelessly. It uses Bluetooth 4.0 and can pair up to three different devices, which again, for this price point, is kind of amazing. Just hold down the function key and either the Q, W, or E key, and this will activate the keyboard's pairing mode. This is really great if you keep your setup clean and wire free, a big selling point to this device. Now, upon reading a lot of reviews, apparently there have been some complaints of the Bluetooth connectivity and the accuracy of the typing. I paired it up with my MacBook Air and haven't experienced any sort of lag or issues with data transfer, so hopefully it's something Dravo was able to work out because I haven't had any issues with the Bluetooth at all. Another incredible thing about this 50 mechanical keyboard? It comes with PBT keycaps. Now if you're not familiar with mechanical keyboards, that's probably not going to mean anything to you, but to give you a very quick general explanation, mechanical keyboards usually use two types of keycaps, ABS and PBT. Often, companies who offer affordable keyboards like this will go with the cheaper ABS keycaps in order to stay within their budget price point. The more expensive PPT keycaps, which are made from higher grade plastic that feel a lot better on the fingers, is usually reserved for higher end, more expensive keyboards, something I really did not expect to be on this one. Now with that being said, I'm not a big fan of the overall font on the keys, a little too gamey for my taste, but nothing too over the top and because they're all regular sized, they can easily be replaced. Talking about the keys, let's talk about what's under them. The Dravo Caliber keyboard uses Otemo switches, basically clones of the ultra popular Cherry MX switches. I went with the blue switches and yeah, they feel and sound like the Cherry MX blues. I needed a keyboard more for productivity, so I wanted a clicky tactile switch and paired with the PBT keycaps, the keyboard is an absolute pleasure to type on. It's been a while since using a mechanical keyboard for everyday use, and I forgot just how addicting the feel and sound of one is. Now for all of you who've been waiting patiently for a sound test, here you go.
Now if you're like me, listening to someone gently type on a mechanical keyboard seriously reduces feelings of anxiety. I almost want to record an hour worth of typing sound that I can listen to when I'm stressed out. Now Dravo does advertise blue, brown, red, and black switches, but for now at least, I've only seen blue switches being offered on the white version of the keyboard and the black switches for the black version. The last and probably the most apparent feature of this keyboard is the RGB backlighting. The keyboard has seven different lighting effects, which gives you a lot of options to switch up the look if you're one of those people that get bored with the look easily. You also have the option to customize and save two lighting settings, a great feature for all you creative folks. The lighting isn't the best I've seen, but it's not in any way bad. In fact, for this price, again, it's really good. However, one thing to note, if you do use the keyboard wirelessly, the Bluetooth button that's paired will always stay white, which will bother the obsessive compulsive folks requiring uniformity. You can keep the entire keyboard white to hide this issue, but it's something most people will get used to and probably won't even notice after a short time. A nice feature is that the keyboard will automatically turn off the RGB lights if left idle, a way for the keyboard to save battery. Dravo claims a 20 hour battery life when fully charged, which will likely fluctuate with usage, but I haven't been able to fully deplete the battery yet, which is nice to see. The keyboard takes around two hours to charge and charges via micro USB, which also acts as a way to wire the keyboard into computers that don't have Bluetooth. Overall, the lighting on the keyboard is great. I personally enjoy the less flashy options, but it's playful and can add some fun personality to your setup, which is always nice. At the end of the day, this has got to be one of the best value mechanical keyboards I've ever seen. It's virtually impossible to find a keyboard with mechanical switches, RGB backlighting, PPT keycaps, aluminum body build, and Bluetooth connectivity for 50 bucks. That's just unheard of. It's not uncommon for keyboards boasting these features to cost well over $100, so if you're one of those bang for your buck buyers like I am, and you've been looking for a budget keyboard, you're going to have a hard time finding one better than this at this price. Now, if you want more information about the Dravo Caliber keyboard, I'll leave some links in the description below. That about does it for this review. Leave me a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave me a comment on what your favorite mechanical switches are. Are you guys fans of the cheaper knockoffs, or are you Cherry MX loyalists? And of course, if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you can stay up to date with all my videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.